everyone and welcome back to stylish ninja youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you so much for subscribing to stylish ninja youtube channel i appreciate all of the love and the support okay so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew this trendy front pocket top or dress so that's just what i'm going to call it it's like a dashi key it's like a free top so that's what we're going to be doing i'm going to show you how to insert the pocket and then you could see this style is really cheeky that so you can rock it however you choose to okay so if you are new to my channel if you have not subscribed i would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button please subscribe to stylish Sanjay youtube channel and then you can follow me on all of my social media platforms facebook instagram pinterest all at stylish niger and then you can also visit our website stylishniger.com for beautiful and trendy styles okay so if you want to register for my online classes you could see my number scrolling through the screen just send me a message on whatsapp and then i'll tell you what it entails to enroll you see all of the courses and then you can choose which one you want to register for okay so the fabric that i'm going to be using today i'm making use of an anchor so from the original picture you could see that the pocket was actually done with a plain fabric but mine i'm going to be twisting up things a little bit i'm going to be adding another ankara to mine so i'm mix matching to ankara to create this outfit okay so let's get started so the fabric that i'm using for this you could make use of about roughly two yards of fabric so that's what so i've already cut out my fabric so i'm going to explain so two yards will just be ideal so the way i cut out my fabric you are going to use the biggest part of your your body that's the fabric to fold out which is the shoulder because you can see it is a joint together sleeve so that's what we are going to use so for instance so i have two pieces here the dress does not have a zipper so it is the same so i have two pieces here so this is the center which is my like my shoulder line that's the middle of my back so from this point you are going to measure where you want your sleeve to get to so mine, the sleeve that I'm using, I'm actually making use of about 18 inches from my shoulder to 18 inches for the sleeve. So the sleeve will run from here to this point, so that which is about 18 inches. And then I'm added extra two inches, which I'm going to use to fold to fold my sleeve. So once I'm done, I'll fold it inside. So you can do a turn up. And then the length of the dress that I'm making use of, that's for this, the length is 20 the length that I'm making use of is 28 inches. So at the end of the day, I'm, I'm half, I cut out 30 inches because this I'm going to fold to you. So you can see that it is a long top. So these are the measurements. So now let's just start our measurements. Okay, so I'm going to measure now. So like I told you, so I'm using the entire width, which is 20 inches. So from this point, I'm just going to come down by about 1.5 which i'm going to slant or slope my shoulder like this so i'll slope it into the neckline point like this so the next thing i'm going to create now is my slip opening so for the slip opening you can decide how much you want to open your sleeve Okay, so I'm going to create my opening now. So this top you can you can still cut it. It's, it doesn't you can it can serve like an agbada top also because it is bogus. So for mine, I'm going to be using 10 inches. So this is my 10 inches sleeve opening. And then the next width, the next thing I'm going to use now is the wideness of my top. So it's a very simple process. So for the white, for the width, so I'm going to be making use of, <clears throat> for the, for my width, I'm going to be making use of about 14.5 inches. So when you open, that's going to give you about 28. So you see, so I'm just going to place it here. This is 14.5. So from this point like this, I'm just going to mark it like this so it depends on how wide you want it to be so for the down part i'm going to maintain 
I'm going to maintain what I actually have. So I'm going to take just the same thing that I have here and then I'm going to take it down straight. So towards the down part, I opened up a little bit. I made it 15. So I'm going to cut out now. You see, it is a very simple dress. Okay, so we have our dress cut out. The next thing we're going to do now, we're going to add our neckline. So you can see it is a very small neckline. So I'm going to come to this part like this. I'm going to use three, three inches. Why I'm going to use three inches is because I'm going to be piping the neckline. So I don't really, so you could see that it's like hugging her. So I don't want mine to be too open. So I'll use three inches. So if you have, if it's somebody that is a little bit um, that is on the bigger side, you can use 3.5 or 4 inches. So the next thing I'm going to measure now, I'm going to measure the, the round part of the neckline. So make sure that you leave quarter of an inch that you use to join your shoulder. So that is why you see that I'm placing my tape like this. So the next thing I'm going to mark, I'm going to mark about 2.5 inches. So that 2.5 inches, that this is for the front neckline. I'm going to mark it like this. So after cutting, I'm going to check it. If it's too high, I will reduce it a little bit more. So for the front, for the back, this is the front neckline. I'm using 2.5 inches. And then for the back, I'll use one inch. So this is the back neckline. So you have the same round like this. And then this is the front neckline. So we'll cut out the back neckline first, like this. And then we'll cut out the front neckline. So I'm going to open it and check before I open the center. So I think I like what I have. The weight, put the weight. So the part that I know I'm going to hold is the weight of my dress. It's a little bit too big. So I'm going to reduce it. So the front, the neckline is okay. So for the width of my of my dress, I'm going to reduce. So for the down, I'm going to reduce it to about 13 inches. Okay, so we're done. So the length, so for the front, I'm just going to place my tape like this and then what I have here I'm going to split this open so I'm going to use about 4.5 inches that's for the front neckline please take note so I'm going to open this up so I've opened it up so I'm going to cut facing for my front neckline. So before then, let's work on the pockets. Let me just leave that first. So for the pocket, so I'm going to open up my piece like this. So you can see what I have. Okay. So I'm going to 
going to use a pattern so when you find yourself with this kind of style so it's good to use the pattern so you don't just so you draft the pocket on the pattern first and then check if it is okay then you can now transfer to your fabric so the measurement that i'm going to be using for my pocket so for the length i'm going to use 13 inches that's 13 inches this is 13 inches i'm going to add two inches to it why i'm adding two inches because i'm going to use it to fold put it down and the top and then on for the width the width of the pocket that i'm going to use is 18 which is nine inches so my fabric is folded in total so this is nine inches and then the length that i'm using is 15 and then here is nine so i want you to take note so i'll cut it out right now and then check So it's looking a little too big, yes. So I'm going to do all of my trimmings and adjustments first. So this is my nine inches. I've not opened that part. So I'll open. So the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to draft the pocket. So from this top part now, I'm going to measure from this part like this, I'm going to measure about six inches. So I'll do 6.5. Why I'm doing 6.5 is because the, the side of the pocket, I'm still going to hem it in. So I'll do 6.5 like this. So this is 6.5. And then the curve on my pocket. So you note what I'm going to do. You know I'm using one inch from the top to fold. So I'm going to start. I will just let it mark out the one inch. That's my allowance one inch. And I'll use to fold both the top and the down so now I'm going to mark so I have my 6 inches 6.5 inches width and then the length that I'm going to do I'm going to do 6 inches that's for my pocket opening 6 inches or 6.5 and then I'm going to curve it. I'll just place my pattern curve like this. And then I'm going to curve it like this. So you see what I have. I'm going to curve it. So I'm going to cut it out and then check. If I don't like what I have, I'm going to still trim it again. I'm going to open it up so you see it is looking almost very perfect why because you know this down part i'm going to fold in with two inches like this so i'm just trying to check everything that i'm doing i'm going to fold that part like that and then this down part you know we're folding this part also it's, it's actually a top stitch And then the side also, you know, I added allowance to for the folding. So I'm going to check all of this. So once it's right,
I think we're good to go. It looks okay. So I'm going to transfer this down to my cabinet. Okay, so I have my pocket. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to take it to my ironing table and then I'll iron down all of the edges, just like the way we, we folded it. So I'm going to iron all of them down. So I'll be able to stitch it on the dress. And then for the neckline, the, the round part of my neckline, I'm going to cut out this red part of my fabric. I'm going to use it to turn it. So I'll cut it in a bias form. So I'm not going to cut it like straight. So I use it to turn the neckline. And then the other part, which is this part, I'm just going to sew a facing on it. So I'm a little bit, so I'll cut out the fabric and then we'll go and start stitching. Okay, so I'll cut out the facing now for the front. So I've already laid out my fabric. So most times what I do, I will not cut out the neckline. So it's only this part that I'm going to sew. This other part I'm going to stitch. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'll go and sew down my facing. So this is the facing for the back neckline. So I'll just go and use it and to turn my neckline. I'll do that for the back and the front. So for the back neckline, so you use your facing. So you sew the V part in and then you turn it inside and then top stitch this part. So the next thing I'm going to do now, this part, I'm just going to turn out with my facing. That I'm going to turn it out like this now with this. Okay, so I finished uh, joining my my top. So I joined it on the shoulder part. So like I showed you on the machine. So I've turned out the neckline. It's just remaining for me to pipe the neckline. So this is the pocket. So here's what I did. I took it to my machine. That's I just piped the edges. Instead of folding it in, I just used this fabric to just do a top stitch and then the edges I folded the edges so if you notice you see it is laying down flat because I used my hemming gum to secure the edges down so after that I'm just going to take it like this and then I will place here like this so I'm just going to check the distance so it will not be too it will not tilt towards one side so I have five and a half inches here and then I have okay five inches here no, and then five inches here so this is the center so I'm going to pull it up a bit because you know I'm going to fold the down part of my dress like this so I'm just going to put, pull it up a little bit and then I'll pin it because I'm going to be stitching it here so use just use a clean stitch 
and then this middle here so i'm going to take it back now and then i'll stitch it like this and then like this and then this center this is the center i'm going to run a straight stitch the essence of running the straight stitch is for you to demarcate the pocket but if you actually want to leave it like that without running a stitch on it you can decide to leave it so mine i think i'm going to leave it but the one on the original picture i think it has a top stitch here on the center dividing the both pockets into two but mine i'm not going to stitch it i'm going to leave it that way so i'll just go ahead and do that and then join the side fold the edges and then i'll put it on the mannequin for you to see the final so you see how beautiful the pocket is looking okay guys so at the end of the day you will see how our our, our top looks like so you can see the pocket our center front pocket top okay so like i told you i just left mine i left it like this so i did not divide it so i just wanted the pocket to be the same so you see the neckline so for the sleeve at the end of the day i just decided to bring a touch of this and car back on the sleeve part so i decided to change it i actually did not like it looking plain so that was why i added this so thank you so much if you find this video helpful i will appreciate if you hit on the like button to make me know you appreciate what i did so thank you so much i'll see you in my next video god bless you and if you have not subscribed please subscribe bye